Hello! I'm Tom Varner and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I've come to the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum in St. Augustine, Florida. So this nature area here is called the Maritime Hammock. And there it is. St. Augustine Lighthouse. How many times did the lightkeepers have to go up the lighthouse during the night? Before being electrified in 1936, keepers had to climb up every two and a half hours to refuel the oil. Right here, and this spot used to be the old well. The old privy. It ain't the old bathroom. Just imagine, before the lightkeeper's house was built, the lightkeeper lived in the lighthouse and had to come out here to use the bathroom. So there was a second privy here in the south corner. It's no longer here, but I guess you had two options then, either the north privy or the south privy. This is the fuel room for the fuel for the light. For the, men's, the light, for the fuel for the light was kept. They had to carry the fuel up to the top of the light using five gallon buckets like that. There's a case where some spare lenses were kept. Imagine having to carry a pane of that up, up all those stairs. Forty-three steps, and it's only six to go. View off the mid landing. One steps down, 128 to go.
30 steps, 66 to go. Okay, now that we've successfully climbed to the top of the lighthouse, let's check out the keeper's house. This was the dining room slash general purpose room. They didn't just eat here. They completed daily tasks. This poster tells about the Jefferson Davis, a Confederate ship that was sunk off the coast of St. Augustine. This room is another part of the interactive exhibit. But those things are not operational at the moment. These are all items on our shipwrecks. Now, during normal times, there's boat building that goes on here, but of course those have been halted for the moment. Okay, that building was one of the buildings that the Coast Guard lived in during World War II. And this building was where the Coast Guard worked on jeeps at. Something about the SS Gulf America. It's a ship that was carrying oil, lighting oil. It was sunk off the coast of St. Augustine by a German U boat. 19 men of the 48 men died. Four were torpedo struck. 
the ship burned for six days in the water until it completely sank. It's a model of the first St. Augustine Lighthouse. So there's something I didn't know. St. Augustine Lighthouse is still in use. I also did not know that every working lighthouse has a different color scheme. No two lighthouses are the same because of this, so sailors can tell them apart. This last little building here is the shipwreck artifact con conservation lab. During World War II, the local Coast Guard had their own baseball team that played here. Dora Wade went on to play for the Chicago Cubs after the war. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel and for more content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you just got something to say, leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, that's a wrap. I have to admit, when I got to the top of the light, that was pretty freaking awesome. When I got to the top of the lighthouse, there was a rainbow. It was amazing.